Once you've got your custom URL and you've decided you want to use WordPress hosting, which is exactly what I do, then the key is, is to get some hosting. You need some company, more than likely, to host your website. The tricks I'll give you in this section can save you a gigantic amount of money and pain and frustration. I've spent more than $5,000 in a lot of ways that I could have not spent so much on having my website hosted. I've also spent hundreds of hours with website hosting. It was the main aggravation when I In fact, it was so aggravating that I moved over to Google Sites, which is a nightmare, and I would not go back to WordPress for two years because of the nightmare the original hosting company posed for me. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. What I'm using is called Managed WordPress Hosting. You can Google and you can get a look at lots of good options for managed WordPress hosting. Managed WordPress hosting means the hosting company has set up their servers and programmed everything to function optimally for WordPress. This is ideal for cost and for performance because WordPress is a pretty low maintenance in terms of what you actually need if everything's set up correctly. Companies that do manage WordPress hosting can afford to host a lot of WordPress websites at a good, fast speed without needing to dump a bunch of wasted money into all kinds of servers. Now, if you just try and go for website hosting generally, you'll often need a lot more performance out of your host than with managed WordPress hosting. Managed WordPress hosting was what I use. It's so easy and it took me so long to find it. So you don't have to struggle so much. Managed WordPress hosting. It's way, way, way easier. I am sharing this with you to hope that you don't have to go through everything I went through. The first company I hosted with just had regular kind of website hosting, absolute nightmare. I also had shared hosting, nightmare. There were porn websites on the same IP as my website was on, which is bad for search results, bad for user trust if someone really looks into your website. It also went really slow. You want a website that loads fast. Managed WordPress hosting will usually give you the fastest load time. And this is what I mean load time. This is in the crawl stats. It's a little advanced if you're just getting started. But the main thing here is you want this to be low. Time spent downloading a page. I had as much as seven seconds was frequent on my shared hosting before that I paid hundreds of dollars for. It's about the same cost to have managed WordPress posting. And you can see right here, it's consistent low page times. Of course, there's an issue a couple days, but most of the page load times are pretty low. And that means the website comes in at a pretty good speed. Now, here's which hosting I decided on after Googling and Googling and Googling and Googling and Googling and Googling and, Googling and looking around and trying to find what was the best. I already was hosting my domains with GoDaddy as I showed you. I'm hosting on GoDaddy and it's working very well. I don't get compensated at all by GoDaddy for telling you this. I'm telling you this because it's what I use. It works really good. I don't care what managed WordPress you use. If you look down on here, on the first page there's a few ads here and then you'll see there's GoDaddy has actually two links up there which is impressive. And then there's, there's blogs trying to tell you what to do. WordPress Engine was another company I considered going with. GoDaddy ended up being cheaper and I already was a customer there. I had HostGator before for a dedicated server. It worked really good and it was $4,000 a year. So that's why I switched over to GoDaddy Managed WordPress. They had a more established manage WordPress history than HostGator. However, HostGator might be better by the time you look at this. I don't know which one's the best. I do know if you pick uh, any managed WordPress website hosting company, you're likely to come out 
pretty well ahead compared to doing anything else. So as long as you look for managed WordPress, you should be good to go. What you'll notice, I've got my hosting paid for. I'm through 2025 with GoDaddy Managed WordPress. It came in at a good enough price with full scalability. So I paid for 10 years. This year, in April, I paid for 10 years of hosting. So that's I that's where my money is. That's what I'm doing. You can do whatever you want to. I don't care what you do. I'm sharing this with you so that you have the option to not struggle and suffer as much as I did. Hosting has been one of the most aggravating parts of my business since the day I started it. GoDaddy Manage WordPress is so easy that even I can do it. I'm not very good with all the hosting and backend things. I've had a dedicated server. I've had other web hosts. I've used Google Sites. It gets no easier than this. This is a WordPress admin dashboard. The GoDaddy settings and everything make it pretty easy. I'm sure lots of other WordPress companies that do manage hosting can make it easy for you too. So thank you very much for watching this. And you can tell I really hope I've saved you a lot of time and energy on finding a good company, whether it's any managed WordPress hosting company will be a good company to get your website hosted on.